Hey there everyone and welcome to Recreate the Game Challenge where 5 developers make a singular game. After the first developer creates the game in one day, they pass on the playable version to the next one, who recreates the game from scratch with their own twist in two days and so on. Today on the show we have 5 developers, Zizako, Cherry aka me, Kobe Dev, Johannes from Line Games and HenRMG from Vera Studios. And now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Hey there, I'm Zizako and I'm currently making a game that is like Mario but with a twist. You play as the baddies, you kidnap the princess and you have to defeat the plumber hero. It's called Awful Marco Bros. For today's challenge, I'm the first one in the chain. I had to make a game in one day. I'm using Construct to make this game. And if you're wondering why, check out this video I made about game engines. So, for this challenge I decided to ditch the Archery 3 and dive straight into gameplay. I grabbed this 1-bit asset pack, initialized the git repo and let's go. The concept is a mad chicken rescue, where you have to rescue your chicken paws and turn them into a kind of an army. 20 minutes in, in voila, we have some of the basics down. These follower slots are basically a sort of a chain that follows the players at all times. I use it to snap the chickens into position when they are following you. Now the enemies each with their own resistance, speed and view radius. You can only beat the enemies if you have the right amount of chickens in your army. Three hours deep and the enemies are ready to attack you. I made a simple UI to let the player know how many chickens they have and I also made the resistance of the enemies and the doors visible. That way the player has an idea of where to go and if they should fight or flight. Here the gameplay is basically complete. Then with the level design I used almost everything I could find on the asset pack. Farms, graveyard, forest, cities, all in glorious one-bit graphics. With the map ready, the chickens kept getting stuck into the doorways and in every corner. It was a bit of a pain to find a way around it and I ended up completely disabling the collisions of the chickens when they are following you. And the final result was kind of decent for a one-day game. If I had more time, I would add a bit more polish, but yeah, I hope the other participants have fun recreating and expanding this game. Hey there, I'm Cherry, the host of the challenge, and I'm the second person in the loop. I'm also working on an indie game called On the Wind's Breath. It's an unconventional platformer where you it's an unconventional platformer where you use the wind to guide a dandelion seed to fertile soil where it can grow into a beautiful flower just for the wind to blow again and repeat that cycle. First of all, I played Zizako's games and well, I broke down immediately. First thought that came into my head was how in the hell did they do that in one day? Either way, I quickly decided to just bottle up my emotions and get to work like any average game developer. And I started from the <clears throat> borrowing all of the same assets they used and importing them into Unity, I quickly got into making the basic features like movement and setting up the town map for the map. Before I realized, almost two hours had already passed and I had done, well, basically nothing other than, well, borrowing assets. Very fun. I created a simple chicken object and borrowed some pathfinding script and a path jump narrator from a game I made for a game jam once. Then I spent about 20 minutes getting it to work and I had a working chicken pathfinding system done. I decided to quickly make a door script which will didn't work at all because the paths were not created to it due to the fact that it was a solid object, but to fix it I simply excluded it from the chicken pathfinding so they can go to it no matter what, which luckily couldn't cause any bugs because it still had collisions. I don't exactly know how that worked, but it did, so doesn't matter. Now, when the player shoots a chicken at the door, it gets removed. After that I realized that almost one day had already passed, so as every healthy game developer I decided to work through the night to get things done before the deadline. Next morning, I added a button which gets toggled by chickens and it can toggle bridges for a puzzle element to change things up a little in my version. I decided to switch up the goal a little bit as well and made it to colors to set the chickens free from the farm, so whenever you reach the end of a level you are allowed to release a part of them. And at the end I decided to add a play menu to the game to make it seem as if I actually had done anything. I am still genuinely stunned by Sasako and how they pulled off their game in one day. I have a lot more to learn if I want to be as productive as they are. Anyways, I wrapped the project up by creating a last room and putting some text in it. Some very non-concerning text, yeah. And I then spent the next two hours building the game and fixing errors that prevented the build from succeeding. And I then finally sent it over to the other developers. Hey guys, for those who don't know me, I'm Kobe Dev, and my engine of choice is Godot. And after seeing the game, my first thought is that it has a big potential to be like a cozy casual farm game. And using this as my baseline, I started making the main art. Who am I kidding? I suck at pixel art. So after ahem, borrowing this beautiful asset pack from Ish.io called Sproutlands, I could actually get to work on making the game. 
My goal for day one was to replicate the original game by Zizako, get the base mechanics like player movement, gates, enemies, pathfinding, and get a basic level fleshed out. After finishing all that boring stuff on day one, I played Cherry's game. One thing I really liked about it was it was like a puzzle game with elements of strategy into it. But one thing I also noticed was the way the character actually shoots the chickens is kind of tedious, it takes a long time. And when you do, sometimes they slide off past your target. So a solution I came up with was that instead of holding click to attack, I can make it more like a point and click system. That way, when you have lots going on, you don't really need to worry about missing your shot. So after implementing a little target that follows your mouse, and some animations that respond to user input, I was pretty happy with the addition. Another thing I was confused with the previous game was the enemies. And this is where the main addition to the game came from. Right now, the enemies don't really do much. Sure, there is a danger circle around them and they start following you once you enter it, but it's super easy to kill them or just simply run away. On top of that, there isn't really a way for the player themselves to die. But the real question is, what should the enemies be? There wasn't any farmers or crocodiles in this asset pack, and the only other animal was a cow. To make this make a little bit more sense, not just some random addition, let's just say that these evil cows stole all the chickens' eggs, and your job as a lead chicken is to lead your friends and kill all the cows to get all your eggs back. And to actually win the game, you will need to collect all 10 eggs from all 10 cows on the level. Now to fix the other issue, health. If you get hit by a blob of unpasteurized milk that the cow shoots at you if you enter its radius, then you'll lose a heart. And if you lose all five hearts, then I guess you just have to restart the level. After this point, I felt really happy with the features I wanted to add, and I began actually polishing up and designing the level, because right now, it's looking a little shit. And I think it's safe to say I had a little bit too much fun making the level. And finally, sound. I spent about half a day and made all the sound effects myself and definitely didn't rip off another very popular game's sound effects. No. I was done with the game. If you want to play my game, link will be in the description as always for all of the games. And if you want to check out more videos from me, link will be in the description as well. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my section. By the way, there is a huge sale going on in the Unity Assets right now where you can get a lot of assets for up to 50% off. Right now the sale includes a lot of high quality audio packs which are very useful for game developers who well don't actually have audio for their game. Plus there is a quick start asset pack available as well which is perfect for new game developers to jumpstart their game development journey. If you plan to get anything from the Unity Asset Store anytime soon, use my link from down the description below, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a ton. Anyways, let's get back into the video. For those of you that haven't heard of me, how dare you? I'm Johannes with Align Games and I make, well, games. So the legendary Kobe dev went before me in this challenge and he cooked up a delectable medley of game design splendor, but it could be better. So in Kobe's rendition of the game, I really liked the movement and simple mechanics. It felt really fun, but I felt there could be a little bit more nuance to it in terms of mechanics to do with the chickens themselves. In this version, you could only command the chickens when there was a door or a cow, but not in general. This is less of an issue in 2D than it is in 3D, but for my game, I made it so that you could always be the chicken overlord. I am a 3D artist primarily, so I was always going to do 3D. And yes, naturally, since I am an idiot, I decided to make everything myself. Each model, mesh, animation, texture, even the shaders. All of the code, the level design, the whole thing. I handmade it for your viewing pleasure. Isn't it beautiful? It was quite fun to program the shaders, especially since that isn't really my main skill set. I started out with a basic unlit shader, then somehow I managed to add shadows to it. Then I made it so that you could set the darkness of the shadows and voila, a semi-cell-like shader was born. So apart from making the game 3D, I wanted to also change some of the thematical nuances. I thought to myself, what are chickens most afraid of? And then it hit me, the Mafia, of course. So 
I changed Kobe's cows into mafia mobsters with Don Mulio leading the hooligans. And yes, they stole your eggs and you, the lowly redneck nuggy, are the only one who can stop them. Take back your brainwashed comrades and rid the farm of these mafia cows. Yeah, looking back, I don't know where any of this came from. I think I was playing Mafia Remastered at the time. Lol. So, in addition to the thematical setting, I bolstered it with a intro cinematic to set the mood, as well as a instructions page. Anyway, the last thing I wanted to add was power-ups to give the player certain abilities. Kobe was the one that added the enemies that could hurt you, which was a great addition, but I wanted to give the gameplay loop some more vuma, so I added a corn stalk that gives you super speed and a tomato plant that restores your health. Do chickens even eat tomatoes? Oh, and check out the way my cows shoot at, as if they have tommy guns, but it's just their udders. Pew pew. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you like what I did with the challenge, and if you'd like to try it out, it will be up on itch with a link in the description. Check out my channel and Steam store as well, and I hope to see you again soon. The Chicken Army marches on. After playing Johannes' version of the chicken game, I noted the addition of the health and speed pickups. I got started on adding in the basic mechanics for the game using the top-down engine for Unity, spent a few hours learning how to use it, and then <laughs> deleted the project. The asset itself is pretty cool, it definitely would have saved me a lot of time if I used it, but learning how to use it just for one project seemed kind of pointless. I redid everything from scratch and got the health and speed pickups working. The game was also a 3D game. I had followed tutorials in the past, but I had never created my own 3D model and brought it into a game engine before. I had anticipated that this was going to be a difficult process and I didn't want to spend too much time on modeling or animating. So I got this 3D pack from the asset store to build the level and I searched on Google for some designs that were in line with this style and I basically just straight up stole the designs and the difficult process of importing a model into Unity <laughs> turned out to just be dragging in the file. <laughs> My contribution to the project was using something that already existed in the game, the eggs. The eggs felt like they had no purpose, so my first inclination was to create an upgrade system where you could increase stats using the eggs as currency. I coded all the logic and created the UI with some advice from other game developers, but then came my least favorite part of game development, level design. So I... <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't do it. I asked Kobe who you saw a couple of clips back for some levels and he drew me up a fantastic document that laid out in detail each of the three levels I created. Now you may say this is cheating, but I always plan to add audio at the end of a project just so I can know exactly how everything plays and mixes together. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to add it in, but depending on when you watch this video, I might have gone back and added in some bug fixes and sound. If you want to play my version, it'll be in the description along with my YouTube channel, Veta Studios. Go check it out. I'm working on a new secret project. Ooh, it's not a hard game. I don't know why I did that. Okay, bye. I just want to thank everyone for participating in this collab with me and creating all of these amazing games. I had so much fun and the games came out really, really well. They all will be available down in the description below. Personally, I think I like the game made by Kobe Dev the most, but what about you? What was your favorite game and why? Tell me down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice one, see you in the next one, and bye!